consider this step one into glowing up and becoming that girl is taking care of that hygiene boo hey model babies it's me model baby welcome or welcome back to my channel if you clicked on this video i just want to say that you are in the right place also i would personally like to say that i am extremely proud of you for even caring about your presentation and your hygiene period because as a woman i feel like that's key like that's important you gotta have good hygiene take care of yourself as anybody consider this step one into glowing up and becoming that girl is taking care of that hygiene boo with that being said i'm just gonna get straight into this video subscribe if you're not already subscribed we are on the road to 10k subs and we'll be there shortly sooner than expected let's make that happen y'all okay so in today's video as you can see by the title i'm going to be telling you 10 hygiene essentials that every girl needs in their life every girl needs i'm gonna be honest before i even start listing these off these are my personal preferences and these are things that i feel like every girl should at least take care of or have included into their hygiene routine okay so number one first on the list which is kind of obvious we're gonna get into soap you need soap all right but let's talk about it on a deeper level though soap for that Soap for your privacy, let me just tell you. I know a lot of people were using honey pot, stuff like that. I'm gonna be honest, I've tried that before. I actually found a better soap that works very good. The first thing I like to do in the shower is I like to clean my body with Dial Antibacterial Soap or Dove Sensitive or Dove Antibacterial Bar Soap. I personally just love the bar soap, so and that is the only soap that i use on my intimate parts i highly recommend dial bar soap antibacterial because it cleans intimately and it's gonna refresh your whole body it's gonna get you squeaky clean then if you want to go in with like a body wash over that to add some fragrance in there or whatever the case may be go ahead me personally i have sensitive skin so it's just easier for me to use the bar soap Another good soap that I like to use is Kojic Acid and Ginger Soap. I get it off of Amazon. And I'm also going to include pictures of the products that I personally use and recommend in this video. And I'll leave the link in the description below. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in getting my personal hygiene essentials. So yeah, the Kojic Acid and Ginger Soap, that's what I use on like my face or... If you have dark spots down by your privacy area, I highly recommend using that soap down there as well. If you have razor bumps, anything of that nature. And that's also a good pH leveling bar soap that you can use down there. I also notice that when like I'm on my period or when I'm bleeding, the soap definitely does help cleanse, helps me feel good. And it helps with cramps, I feel like. I feel like it really does help with cramps a little bit. And that's also a good soap to use if you have scars anywhere. That's perfect. Enough of number one in the soaps. Let's go on to number two. Let's talk about body oil, baby, and moisturizers. That body oil gonna have your skin glistening, okay? Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> moisturizers, those are important. Get you a nice moisturizer. I have eczema, so I use my prescribed ointment for my skin and then i also like to go in with some like baby lotion um dr till's lotion like just some kind of lotion with some kind of vaseline and then i like to add the body oil so if you want your skin to be super soft if you want to have your skin glistening all summer glistening in the winter too yeah apply some body oil baby so number three Let's get into it. Number three would have to be deodorant. Find yourself a good deodorant, one that works for you, one that's not going to have you smelling musty with a deodorant scent on top of it. We don't want that. We want to smell strictly like deodorant if needed or we want to smell fresh and clean. So get you a deodorant that works for you, that isn't irritating your armpits because I know like the suave kind, that irritates underneath my arm so I don't use that one anymore. But yeah, find you a good deodorant. My personal favorite is the Dove Spray-On Deodorant. Find you a nice deodorant that works for you because we don't want to be musty nowhere, especially not in this heat. Okay, so number four. Let's talk vitamins, babe. I know a lot of y'all probably already do. I hope y'all do. If you don't, it's okay because I'm about to put you on and you can start now. Today's a new day. You can start now. 
and it's never too late. You need to be taking them vitamins. Definitely if you're having sex, definitely if your pH is off, definitely if anything, just take them vitamins. Always take them vitamins. Vitamins I recommend for everyday use would be cranberry vitamins, or no, cranberry supplements, biotin supplements. In case you're not familiar with biotin, it helps your hair grow. Or you can even do the hair, skin, and nail vitamins. The vitamins that I currently take daily are the cranberry with vitamin C. So it's like a mix of both. So I'm getting two vitamins in one. That's perfect. And I found those at um, Walmart. And if you're really trying to focus on like having a good pH, healthy pH balance, gut health, stuff like that, I would recommend taking the Good Girl Probiotics. Those are really good. I was taking those for a minute. They are kind of pricey, but the cranberry ones work just as fine. If you're focused on getting a healthy pH, having a healthy pH balance, get those good girl probiotics i know that you can find those at target or you can even order them online like i said the links to all these products will be listed in the description box below so be sure to check that out and if you've gotten this far in the video you might as well subscribe because why not why not okay number five number five will have to be wipes like baby wipes i feel like those are great to have period for anything i like to keep me a little like a little case of wipes inside of my purse not like the big bulk of baby wipes but i keep me a little thing of baby wipes in my purse i keep wipes in my room now i'm going to give you guys some examples on when you could use the wipes and what the wipes will be useful for just in case you think i'm crazy just saying shit wipes come in handy for let's say you need to wipe some makeup off let's say you spill some you can use the wipes let's say um you need to wipe your phone off let's say okay you're on your period and you need to go to the bathroom to change you could wipe with the baby wipes clean yourself off and yeah let's say you're out in public and your deodorant starting to get old wipe the deodorant off with the wipes spray some more deodorant like period like do y'all see where i'm going with this wipes are just i feel like that's an essential you have to have wipes wipes are just good to have period okay number six is yanni oil so yanni or yoni however y'all pronounce it i pronounce it yanni so Yanni oil. I found this on Amazon. If you're looking for something to clear razor bumps, if you're looking for something to um, remove dark spots or brighten up your downstairs area, this is something that you want to use. The Yanni oil is great for after you shave or after you get a wax. I find it perfect to use after a wax. Like I avoid so many ingrown hairs, razor bumps and stuff from getting waxed. It also smells very good. Yeah, I highly recommend. So just try that out if you're interested in something for your downstairs area. That's basically like a good moisturizer for your privacy. Okay, number seven. We're flying through these pretty fast. But number seven, let's get into it. Number seven, we're going to talk mouth. And pause before y'all get on me. But we're going to talk about mouth. So for your mouth, you're going to want to make sure you have a good toothpaste that works for you. We're going to have you some good mouthwash that works for you. And you're going to have some good floss that works for you. You need all three. That's a combination. Yeah. Some people like tongue scrapers too, but I don't use those personally. So I'm not going to like suggest that in the video. If I'm not using it, I'm only suggesting things that I personally use or have tried before. Personal favorite toothpaste is the Colgate Optic White Advance. I feel like that whitens my teeth a lot. Don't nobody want no yellow teeth. Like you don't want to be in front of people talking with yellow teeth or you know, messed up teeth. Even if your teeth are messed up, the least you can do is make sure that they're white and clean and your breath not stink. Don't get me wrong, it's some people with nice teeth and they breath be stink. So yeah, don't be one of those. You want to have white teeth, you want to have good smell of breath and good hygiene, period. And also, another important piece too is get you a good toothbrush because if you don't have a good toothbrush, if you're using that cheap ass toothbrush, it's not going to work as good as like a better toothbrush. Me personally, not too cheap, not too expensive. I use the Colgate toothbrushes. Those are really good. Make sure you're using a bristle that works for you too. I like the medium ones or soft because my gums are really sensitive. So the hard ones don't work for me. It be making my gums bleed. Like it hurts to brush my teeth. So two times a day you're supposed to brush. I brush one to two times a day. I'm not going to lie. Um, sometimes one, sometimes two. Most of the time two. Um, but yeah. Make sure you're flossing frequently because that's 
an important part of having good breath, making sure you get all the extra food, stuff like that from out of your teeth. Now, me, I have gaps in between all my teeth, so I don't really have that problem for real, but I still floss just to make sure because, yeah, period. Now, that's a plus about having gaps, y'all. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Okay, period. Then the mouthwash I use, I use an antiseptic mouthwash because I have a tongue piercing. I also feel like it refreshes my mouth so good. Like, it gets in there. Like, it be having my mouth tingling, like numb almost. Like, that mouthwash work, okay? And it doesn't even have to be a name brand one either. But antiseptic, I love the antiseptic original mouthwash. And I also love that, I think it's called Therabreath or whatever. I don't know. If you're more so on the cheaper side, get the antiseptic mouthwash because that does the same thing pretty much. Okay, number eight. I highly recommend getting a heating pad for when you're cramping or when you're not feeling well, if your body aches, um, or even if you just be cold. Like, if you get cold throughout the day, whatever the case may be, get you a heating pack. Hot water bottle, that's what I have, and it works so good. Like, when I'm bleeding, make sure you get a heating pack for when you're cramping. That definitely helps. I have my hot water bottle for when I'm at home, and then I get the Midol heating packs to put on my stomach when I'm out on a go. Those help. And make sure you keep you some Midol or Tylenol, ibuprofen in your purse, whatever works best for you when you're bleeding that's important take care of yourself when you're bleeding because nobody else gonna do it i feel like females you need to understand and males too not gonna lie because most males don't know this kind of stuff but we need to understand the phases of our cycle i can go in depth on this in another video i'm not gonna do it in this video but comment down below if you want a video like that like where i'm going in depth us females especially we need to learn the phases of our cycle that way we can tend to ourselves the way that we need to that way we can understand ourselves better and really get in tune with our bodies and with ourselves okay number nine we are one away from being done number nine would have to be Lip scrub and lip gloss. Make sure them lips is good, girl. If your breath good, your teeth good, you need to have good looking lips too. They need to be fresh. They need to be scrubbed. They need to be all that. Your lips should always be looking soft all the time. A little secret. That's a go for men. Like, that's a green light. If your lips soft and they look soft, what you think men going to do? What you think, what you think people going to want to do? Kiss them lovely lips, period. You ain't got to be pretty to have good lips. Like, take care of them lips. It don't matter. Anybody could do that. So, yeah, get you some lip scrub. Get you some something that's going to hydrate your lips really well. And get you some good lip gloss. So, the steps I like to take, I like to take a shower. And I scrub my lips with my rag for my face. I scrub my lips and wash my lips and my face. Then, after that, I get out the shower I'll do the lip scrub. So I scrub my lips with lip scrub. Once I take the lip scrub like off, the little beads off, I like to put a good hydration lip gloss on or like maybe some Carmax Vaseline, whatever the case may be. I personally do not like Carmax. Then after that, if I'm feeling up to it, I'll put on some actual lip gloss or maybe some lip plumping lip gloss if you're going out. Something nice, okay? Treat yourself, be yourself, don't beat yourself. Okay, and number 10 detoxifying eye patches i had got me a pack one time from target because one of my eyes were swollen so i'm like i need something to get this swollen eye to go down i got these patches from target and it worked like the swelling on my eye went down so ever since then i've just been using them like even when i'm doing a facial steam or whatever the case may be i'll put the eye patches underneath my eye or i'll put them on when i'm going to bed wake up and i have no bags underneath my eyes at all now i'm the type of person that i get bags under my eyes especially if my allergies are acting up if i be outside if i'm tired i get bags under my eyes like we're human there's a lot of people that do get bags under their eyes. So if you do, I highly recommend getting detoxifying eye patches. This is what it looks like. I'm not going to lie. It is kind of expensive. I got this from Target for like $30. But, but, listen, I know that's a lot, but hold on. It comes with a whole lot in there. Like, I still have a whole lot left in here. And I've had this for a few months now. So highly recommend getting this product right here and i also have different ones depending on what you need it for but yeah i would say pimple patches too or acne 
stickers, whatever them little things y'all be wearing. I personally don't get a lot of acne on my face or break out a lot, um, which is a part of maintaining your pH. If you're drinking water, a lot of water, if you're drinking lemon lime water, you could drink that too. If y'all want to clear up your face overnight, drink lemon and lime water every night for one week. And I promise you, dark spots are gone, pimples are gone. Change your diet. Watch what you eat. Watch what you drink. Because all that sugar is not good. That's poison. You're poisoning your body. Yeah. Then you wonder why you be stink. Then you wonder why you really be musty. Then you wonder why you got all them bumps on your face. No. And if you do have all that, don't worry. I'm not attacking you. I'm just letting you know that that can be fixed. That's all. But if you're comfortable like that, so be it. That's fine with me. I know number 10 was the last one. I do want to put y'all on to this one product that I found on Amazon. It works so great. This is Piercing Bump Solution. Now, you don't have to just use it for that exact reason. This is supposed to be for keloids, but I started using this for other things on my body. I use it for um, underneath my eyes or around my eyes. Oh my God, this works so good. Any kind of scratch, scar, this is great for healing scars, anything in that nature. I highly recommend getting this. You can even rub this on your downstairs area. Like this works really well really well especially if you have piercings get this because this will heal your piercings very fast and smoothly the process will be so much better if you get this for your piercings i was actually considering to do a how to smell fresh how to smell good all day long video so if you guys actually want that video comment down below and let me know because i'll get right to it and i'll record that for y'all i'll even give y'all some recommendations like i don't know i might just record it anyways but comment what kind of hygiene products you guys recommend or what you guys use yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it somewhat helpful i love you guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Zika. Zika. baby i can't get you off